You are night, yeah, Yumi and Anu. <laughs> but today you have only Anu here, so welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a few things, but before then, I just want to greet our new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining on this channel. We're going to be talking about relationship, things, lifestyle, fun, and every other thing around the corner. <laughs> So today I'm going to be telling you essentials you need for your court wedding. I have a few things I actually jotted down. Yes, that I think uh, we should talk about. That we're going to be talking about like uh, documents required, the fees, the timelines, uh, picking a date, and um, when does your court wedding like you know you're going to file for a time? When does it expire? And the, for ladies, the essentials you're going to be needing because, of course, as a lady, Anu will be telling you what you need. If you've not yet subscribed, subscribe because trust me, you want to be part of the You and I. <laughs> so, and I'll also tell you the things you need to bring on the day of your uh court wedding or your registry wedding anyone is called it's either called a court it's going to be done in the court basically so it's called a registry wedding court wedding some will call it court wedding some will call it uh the legal wedding like if you've done that that means you are married so no more all those other things people say is terrible but some will believe in it some cultures do not believe in it so they are just going to be talking about this so sit tight and let's start first things first is the Court wedding process now you need to go to the registry that's the location you will want to do your court wedding do you want to do it in local government just around your area do you want to do it in a major local government do you want to do it in lagos a lot of people go to ikoi lagos to go and do it but for me and my husband we didn't go to ikoi lagos to do it because we discovered that the certificate they were giving they've now harmonized the registry wedding certificate that's the court's legal wedding certificate it's no longer as if the one they give in Ikoyi cannot be accepted internationally like the one they give in for instance Port Harcourt or Ibadan or Oshun State or something like that now they give it the one they will give you in your local government is still the same one they're going to give you in Ikoyi so it's harmonized you can do it anywhere and everywhere another thing you need to know about the timeline is that your stuff has to be published 21 days it has to be out for the whole world to see or whatever <laughs> because it's going to be published it's going to put on a notice board and every other place and it has to stay there for 21 days so that probably if you've been married to anybody or if you've had any children or something people are going to come and say no this man is already married this person cannot get married again or this lady is already married she has children she can you know it's going to be published for the public to see and that timeline has to be 21 working day so you have to actually look at this timeline so if you want to get married like in two months or six months time you have to calculate at least i'm going to advise yes they say 21 days but just give yourself 30 days give yourself one month to the date of the date you want to choose for the wedding give yourself one month and go to the registry and apply with the registry Try. yes apply with the registrar that you would want to get married like in my own case they didn't they're going to ask you for some few documents I actually have them written down so i'm just going to be listing them for you they will ask you for the passport of you and your spouse yes they're also going to ask you for the birth certificate of you and your spouse because you know they want to know your actual date of birth and all that and they will also ask you for you have to make a payment so uh the things you'll be needing your passport birth certificate and the money you're going to be paying i think in some like it differs in different places i'm not i don't see the actual amount because it might not be the same thing in your own area but they're going to ask you to make a payment and on the day you're going to be coming for the registry they're also going to ask you to come along with some things but those things i'm going to be listing them down so we've talked about the documents required we've talked about the money you have to pay you have to make a payment and we've talked about now the timeline like i said go 30 days before the date of your life for instance let me give you a practical example if you're planning to get married in august 4th you have to go there at july at least july 4th to go and make that uh to go and make the publication for them to make it public that these two people are about to get married so that you kind of uh, be within that 
uh 21 days where they are going to publish it and all that another thing is that that from the time you published it you must get married three months within that time so if you had published it in january from january you must get married february march from that date it was published counts another three months because after three months that uh, timeline for the wedding that you said you wanted to have and all that it's no longer valid so you have to publish it at least you have to get married correction you have to get married within uh three months from the time that you actually did your publication that you went to apply if not it is completely invalid like i said if you are also advised if your wedding is don't do your court wedding like very far from your wedding day because you you're going to be having conflicts of dates it's just my personal advice not like uh, I'm saying that oh you can wait because some people they like okay let's just know we are married legally while we are waiting to um we are waiting to get all the things we need for our traditional and our white wedding personally I'm not going to advise that I would advise that you do everything the same time so that when they're asking you oh when did you get married you know that everything fell within the same time you're not going to be mixing dates if you're feeling documents you're not going to be mixing dates too much and also just for your own benefit because what's the point you know you're legally married and you still stay like you guys are not together i don't know <laughs> so it's just my own personal preference another thing i would like you to know i wrote down some things that's why i'm busy like looking here yeah i would talk about ladies essentials i listed some things that as a lady you are definitely going to be needing for the court wedding yeah <laughs> so first of all you're going to be needing your gown i'm going to put a picture of my gown here i actually made my gown myself so it depends on what you want you want to buy an already made gown if you also want to make it for you if you want to make it for yourself that's fine just get a gown obviously it's, oh, it's, most times it's usually white or cream or you can pick any one you want but it's just nice like if you use white you will be you know glowing and out and that thing you will you likely need is a handbag obviously a handbag where you can carry your own personal essentials like your phone money because sometimes you need it to like put money when they are singing or like uh your own probably lip gloss powder some of those small small things that you might need in your bag your own personal bag you can carry those things in your handbag and make your handbag at least similar to the clothes you're wearing so that it can match very very well yeah and then you need if you want to carry a bouquet fine some people don't carry a bouquet but personally i prefer to carry a bouquet and i made a different bouquet for my court wedding and a different bouquet for my white wedding so depend on what you want but i'm getting advice like it's just fun come on it's only once you can carry a bouquet that looks really good matching your outfit yeah then if you're a jewelry person you can make arrangements so for jewelries that you will be needing on that day so don't forget to come with your wedding band like your ring because they are going that's what they're going to be using to join both of you sometimes i always advise come with a ring and a bible sometimes they always use a bible to like swear and all that but just come with a ring and a bible they can decide whoever is the registrar can decide to use whichever one he prefers to use where you can come just for you never can tell what they will use but just come with the boot of them just in case they ask where is the bible you can bring the bible out they ask where is the ring you can bring the ring out next is your hair it's decide the kind of hair you would like to make because these are the things you have to make arrangements for before the date of the court wedding because that day of the court wedding you don't want to waste time most of the time a lot of people are getting married like the day that we were getting married in our own registry we were not the only ones getting married on that day so this told us it's going to be first come first serve the earlier you come the more the, the faster they attend to you if you come late obviously they're going to attend to you late so our advice leave everything you're doing meet up with the time so that you don't end up paying fines and of course i've heard of people that they went late for their registry wedding and they paid fine in fact some of sometimes they won't tell you that they're not doing you should go back home and people start begging they start paying unnecessarily then that's not supposed to like happen then you have to also decide the shoe you want to wear but our advice always try and make it as comfortable as possible because you don't know whether you're going to be climbing a staircase you don't know whether you don't know the situation around so make your shoe as comfortable as possible another very important thing you'll be needing is a hand fan nowadays electronic uh hand fans are very very popular our advice is to also take that one because it's going to save you stress you're not going to be doing like this like 
you just had a hand fan that you used to like bloom your cell so uh these are some of the things essentially that you need as a so now some of the things they may ask you to bring on the date of the court wedding yes i don't I, do, I think this is also a ritual like things that you just like when you're also going to learn work you know what they usually say when you're going to learn maybe the tailoring work or barbing saloon or all those things they always ask you to bring some things when you're coming so there are some things that the registry or the registrar is going to ask you to come along with on the date of the court or the registry wedding and i'm going to be listing some things they may likely ask you to come with which they asked us to come with they asked you to come with um 24 pieces of mold so you can decide whether you want to come with the plastic mold or the can mold it has to be 24 pieces they're going to ask you to come with a carton of sachet biscuits they're also going to ask you to come with food for officials for the number of officials that are going to be officiating your court wedding and they are going to ask you to bring juice yeah they ask us to bring five alive juice the a certain number of five alive juice and they'll also ask you to come with money on that day because everybody that's going to be signing on your uh on your court uh, uh, on your marriage certificate is also going to pay so they'll just ask you to bring the money collectively so that they don't have to start collecting the money from everybody so i think these are just some rituals i'm going to say these are just some few things that they do on that day and it's quite fun i think this is the cheapest marriage how to have the cheapest marriage in the world <laughs> yeah for me i feel having a court or registry wedding is the cheapest wedding that you can have because you just have a very few amount of people coming in you have you're just required to bring very few things which are not expensive you also you can spend an average of fifty thousand to have a full cut without with everything you're going to pay all the documents you're going to print every single thing you can spend less than fifty thousand naira to have a very good nice short cut or registry wedding i hope this video has helped you because i remember that when i wanted to do my cut wedding i also went online to look for videos on registry wedding and all that and that's why i also thought to put this video out there if it has helped you leave a comment in the comment section give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed till i see you next time on the same channel with me and annie bye